Hi, this is Cliff, and we are here to talk about the business side of restaurants, and I am on chapter number eight that I am giving you a, a brief overview of. So welcome to the video, and uh, thanks very much for taking the time to, uh, to listen and learn about what I have going on here. So in this particular chapter, which begins on page 76, I got the book over here. This is the hardcover that I'm working on. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the build-out costs and also the architectural side. So the build-out costs, when you're starting a restaurant, there's two options that you're going to have to go into. Number one, is it a retrofit? Or one, number two, is it as a ground up? So that I go into those details in here, um, not so much to a point where it's step-by-step, but just enough to know what you actually have to do in those areas. Architectural is always the first thing that you're going to uh, get involved because they're going to have to come up with the plans and also uh, they're going to be involving the uh, people in the, or the architecture and designers for the kitchen. Uh, but then from there, you're going to get involved with the general contractors as well. And it's always important to have the architecture architect uh, be involved in that step of maybe selecting a uh, individual general contractor who has built restaurants because building a restaurant and being a general contractor goes hand in hand and they have to have had Now on page 81, I go on to talk about the general contractor and I say the general contractor with a smile and also a grin at the same time, because the general contractor could be your best friend or your worst enemy. They're going to be your worst enemy if they've only uh, built residential or maybe commercial buildings and they have not built a restaurant before. Building a restaurant is very different from building a residential home or just a commercial uh, space without any plumbing and, and high electrical needs and so forth. So it's always important making sure that you have the right person and the general contractor, but more importantly is making sure that they have the right subs. So if they don't have the right subs, then it could create a problem for you as well, as far as timeline as well. But uh, I talk about that in this book on that particular page, and that's a very important subject to keep in mind. Now we're going to go into the next chapter, and I will see you at chapter number nine.